When the kids are counting sheep When the kids go to sleep Dreams and memories When the kids go to sleep When the kids go to sleep You know, somebody made a comment on uh, the last podcast that said, you know, Shay's not really singing the harmony. He's just trying to like match what you're singing, which is true. Which thanks for <laughs> thanks for really thanks getting to the insecurities me. of my singing. I appreciate that. <laughs> you knew Shay's a right where singer. to drive the nail. <laughs> Shay can sing well. He, Here's what I can do. I can like mimic. Okay, he matches. Sometimes it's it's he he has a hard time like doing the harmony because he likes to match. Yeah, I can. That's all I can do is I can just like hear something and then try to sound like it. That's yeah. like the best. That that's how I sing. Because I can't. I don't like have an ear for music, so I can't be like, oh, that's the alto part. Let me just drop down here and do some bass. But when you're singing it by yourself, you get the the notes all good. Well, yeah, it's because yeah. I'm just copying what I hear. But like, if you were right, like, like if give we're me singing music, in a group, yeah, then it helps to have somebody singing the same part as you, so you can. Yeah, so I don't screw up. <laughs> Unless so I know really the song. Good singer. If I know the song really well, then right. I can hold it. I can keep that melody. I can, you know, I, even if and somebody moves. And that kind moves. of thing is learned. You I do. mean, I you got to learn it. Yeah, I noticed. I mean, I grew up singing harmonies with my sisters, but when we don't do it for a long time, I have yeah. a hard time finding the harmony. Like, oh, I can't do it anymore. What? So it's a learned thing. You can two teach people, yourself. Two people in my life that. taught me about singing and like my voice. My dad and my program director, Brad. I remember my dad saying that. Really? Yeah. Like when you sing, it's just like a muscle. Like the more you sing, the better you get. It's like you just need to do it a lot. It's like a muscle. You got to work Listen to yourself. Out. You know, the more you do it, the better you get at it. So I just remember my dad saying that. So it was like, because I always thought as a kid, it's like, well, you either can sing or you can't sing. And some people are definitely predisposed to music and are better at it. But you could, it's something that you can work at you and can, like yeah. get good at. So I have, you know, I have never like said, I'm going to be a singer. But I did sing in choir and stuff. And then I married you because you could sing. And that's why. That's the only me. reason. That's the only reason. <laughs> I love music so much. Speaking of singing, though, we should just talk about this right now. Go check out my Katie Lett channel. My We had a special musical number with my dad and me and Callie. We did, did our own rendition of Poor Wayfaring Stranger, and that's going up today. Why do you always <gasps> do religious music? Because that's what I grew up singing, and it's fun. <laughs> I could just see the comments, but you guys do need to Why do like a. Why are you singing about God again? Why is this Jesus character in your music? In <laughs> music. Who's this Jesus guy? Anyways, <laughs> um, does it talk about Jesus in that song? Yeah, the last. Well, we say Savior. Canaan. I believe. That's I love Jesus, that song. So. I love that song. Uh, so check it out right now. Bam! It's yeah. available Bam. to go watch. <laughs> Talking about people who can sing. Uh, Colette and her dad and her sisters grew up singing, so it's a real treat when they get together because they really do sound good. And her dad oh, is a guy, you put a string on any piece of wood and he can play it. Like he plays everything, fend fiddle, banjo, mandolin, guitar. Mm -hmm. And Callie and dad were such good sports because they liter we literally practiced that song the day before. Right. And You've sang it before, though, like growing up. Not that you? song. You never have? That was a brand new song for us. Nuh-uh, yep. shut your mouth, mommy <laughs> tart. Pharrell's. Pharrell's. Go check it out. It's up right now. The three of them are jamming right here in the studio. Do, were right those here. lights up there? Can you guys tell? We got oh. track lighting in here. It's kind of cool, right? It's, Tyler, pan up and show them the track lighting. I want to. I want them to see the production quality in this studio. <laughs> Rock. And we have a globe yes. light right are in, here. Are you in charge? I don't of those? know that we've ever had the globe light. Yeah, what's with the, there's a globe light? It's too. pretty. I like what you're doing, Roth. He's up in his game. You know what? This I'll is take, Podcast 42. I'll, I'll take full, cre full credit for all Full credit? That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roth's hair was in here over the weekend installing track lighting. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is Podcast 42. Can you believe Whoa. we've done 42 of these? 42. <laughs> we thanks. Thanks. We thanks. We thanks. We thanks to you for downloading them for free on <laughs> iTunes. Don't forget to. <laughs> but seriously, please, it helps us out. And no, it doesn't really. You can just get it for free on this iTunes. It's fun. It's easier to listen to instead of sitting in front of your computer. You can listen on the go, maybe in your car. You could put it on your portable but music sometimes device. Sometimes we do little things that you don't catch when you're just listening. Yeah, like this. We're kind of weird. Like, and this and that. Me and Mommy Tyler are fighting today. <laughs> we are? Are we? I didn't think we were fighting. Once we start talking about what we're going to talk fight. about today. What? You're, Will you're that be a what? fight? No. <laughs> let's talk about what are all we our talking about Let's today? get all of our business out of hand and then we'll talk about sex. Okay. What? So, uh, 
Ah, that's what we're talking about. Well, we never welcomed anybody to the show. Welcome to When the Kids Go to Sleep. Oh, hi. We're here. And uh, WTKGTS. Thanks for watching and downloading it. And uh, so just a few details. Uh, Beard Tart Supremes. Oh, yes. Wanted to let you know, 10% off until May 31st. You can go get yourself some Shea Carl shoes. Hey, I wonder if anybody if, if anybody realized that those were the Shea Carl shoes in the boyfriend teaser video that we did. Yeah. Oh, the Shea Carl Beard Tart Supremes got a little shout out. A yes. little cameo shot. And they're all wet now, huh? In Logan's under. Where are those shoes? Did he take them with him? I don't know. I bet you he stole those. Logan, I want my shoes back. <laughs> so you guys can go. Links below. Beard Tart Supremes, 10% off until May 31st. Grab those. Uh, check out Mom's song. They're really awesome. Uh, we're just talking about her parents and are in town. Friday, we're going to have Ma- Mom's who in view. this? No. Oh, Daystorm. Daystorm. Daystorm will be here on Daystorm. Friday. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them below uh, because we won't answer them because he's going to be in here for like 45 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, so never mind. Uh, but Daystorm will be on the podcast Friday, so be sure to tune in on Friday. We're going to talk to him about his new album mm-hmm. being released. That's exciting. Yeah. And then um, your parents, all of our moms were in town for Mother's Day. Is that going to be released on Mother's Day? Okay, so what's today? Wednesday? We're This week... We are putting up a video every day on the mom's view. They're going to be mom's tributes and things like Serious? that. And then, yes, every day. Oh. So go check it out right now. And then we will be posting the mom's view special episode with all of our moms. The mom's moms is what we call <laughs> it's them. It's called the grandmoms. The mom's moms. It's the grandmoms view. And that episode's going to air Saturday. And Caring. I think it's a two-parter. So it might be Saturday and Sunday. <gasps> Possibly. Well, so. My, my, a two parter? Wow. Yes. So that's going to be. so much to talk about. Obviously, coinciding with Mother's Day. Mm-hmm. My mom just left this morning and we, it was sad to see her go. But yeah, all the parents were in mm-hmm. on town this weekend. It was crazy. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of house. We had your parents and my mom in our house. Mm-hmm. And then Kaylee had her mom. And then Kaylee's mom were, was house. here. Yeah. So it was, it was a mom And central. then my sister, Sadie, is in town too. So the whole family's here. Oh, what do you do? Okay, so let's get started today. I don't know why Shay <laughs> wants to talk about this, but I'm going to let him just introduce the topic for the day. I said I was in the bathroom this morning shaving my... No, I was brushing my teeth. What were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was brushing... TMI. <laughs> TMI. No, I, did sh- I shaved my chest this morning. You did? Let me look. No, don't touch it. That's weird. That's, That's weird. Don't stop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, and I said, what do you want to talk about on the podcast today? Because uh, the way we do these usually is we come in on Mondays and we have our little podcast. And then we usually have a guest for the second podcast, which is Day Storm. But today I'm like, let's talk about sex. And I said, why? <laughs> and you uh, had a story. Well, okay. So I was just recently hanging out at Kasim's house and he had some buddies over, uh, some of our friends from Maker. And we were just chatting. And one of the dudes that I was talking to, like, got this new girlfriend. So, like, you know, we're grilling him about her and, like, asking him. <laughs> Who's too cute? And, of course, me. I'm always like, so what do you think? You're going to marry her? You know? And I know. He's I'm the always, matchmaker. I'm always Mr. Matchmaker, like, you know. Matchmaker. Start having babies ASAP or you're a waste of skin. Anyway, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I don't know. That's kidding. not true. So he was, we were talking about, and he was saying to me that he was like, well, you know, I can kind of like see how it'd start to maybe like feel like I would want to marry this girl because like it was a girl that he like really liked, you know, and they would really hit it off and I was asking him questions and stuff. But I was, I was, it was interesting because the way that he was talking about, you know, when I was asking him about marrying her, he was like, said that he grew up in a place where, it wasn't cool to get married. Like all of his friends are like, you know, why would you, you know, why would you want to get married? It was cooler to not get married and to like, that was something that, you know, you didn't do. Like you didn't get married. It's like, you just mm-hmm. grew up and you know, that wasn't, but for me where I grew up, you know, I was telling him and you this morning that even since I was like 13, 14 years old, I was like, knew that I was going to find this girl one day and that like, she was going to be like my wife and, it was me. It was you. And I remember even <laughs> writing in my journal, like, you know, uh, you know, I wonder what she's doing right now. Like, I just knew you were out there somewhere. You're just a romantic And one day babe. we would find each other. So, like, I always had, like, planned on getting married and knew that I wanted a family and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. it was interesting to talk to him where he was from, uh, I don't know what, you know, wherever. He was from San Francisco. I don't know if geography matters or just your neighborhood. But, you know, he grew up where it was, like, you know, not cool or it was, like, cool. it was like nerdy if to get you put married. the wedding ring on yeah so then i was just like talking about that and and then i, I don't know why <laughs> we just started talking about we should talk about sex today on the podcast <laughs> that is not a good segue at all right i know that's Try again. that's what i keep i keep thinking like how am i gonna like smooth this out without just being an awkward talking, conversation about sex okay, so I don't we're think, talking <laughs> about relationships right. and how when you start a relationship like how do you start like 
movies, like I just went to a movie, they portray it like, oh, meet a guy, have sex. That's what you do. Right. And sorry for all the little ears if you don't want to hear about it. Oh, we this. should. Yeah, we should. Uh, <laughs> we should say don't let, Talk your, about, don't let your kids. You should put your kids to sleep right now because yeah, our kids are asleep. When the kids go to sex. What? <laughs> okay. I do not condone the kids any to of this sleep, today. I knew, I knew there was going to be a lot of yelling at me today. So uh, <sighs> that's a good point about relationships, about, you know, marriage, for instance. You know, we, we, I was talking about to this guy about marriage. And, and we believe, you know, we didn't have sex until we were married. We didn't have sex until our wedding night. Not that I didn't want to. <laughs> I'm just a prude. <laughs> no, she, she, wouldn't, she wouldn't let me. So, but we believe that there's, you know, there's so many more important things than sex that matter first. It's like if you imagine a relationship like a pyramid, the top of that pyramid should be sex and everything else, you know, it should, you're, you should create a foundation or a base for this relationship. And then, you know, if you, if that's how a relationship should work, I feel like, you know, you should have all this, you know, talk about, you know, but what same... about the argument? Um, but how do you know you're going to like it? Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's if why you're going to marry it, somebody and be with them the, the whole rest of their life. How do you know? But it comes. That's the thing. Is like this pyramid. The sex is on top of the pyramid. It's like the ultimate. Like once you like once you have built that foundation of a relationship first, is that all that matters? Like so. What what if the sex is great, but you hate the person? You know what I mean? So not a good idea. Yeah. So it's like uh, anyway. So. You know, relationships are are definitely difficult, and you have to work on them. And building that foundation first is is what's going to you know keep it in the long run. Because you know, you just hear about divorces and and so much like that today. That I feel like sex is placed you know first and too highly on. Why are we talking about this? You wanted to talk <laughs> about it, Shay. That is why we're I, talking about I just, it. <laughs> well, I have gotten we have gotten a lot of questions like in the comments and stuff on this about you know it is a touchy subject, but um, you know that we should talk about about it and you know our experiences with it well and it's interesting because a lot of people are you know you're, it's it goes to how you were raised you know like what are you taught when do you do it um we were always taught okay don't do it until you're married until you're ready to commit your life to somebody for the rest of your life and i totally agree with that because think of all the heartache that happens you know if you get into a relationship you give everything to that person and then you break up it's like oh that, you've given your most precious given, thing, yeah. you know. Well, and that was another thing that I was talking about with this guy about relationships or about getting married. Is that you know I was always confused by the people who were had been dating for so long and then had been married and used the excuse of like well, we want to make sure you know my finances aren't in order. I want to like you know get my feet under me a little bit more before we get married. But I was always had the you know the feeling of like well why not get that person that's going to like help you and be with you for the rest of your life to help you with that stuff all those mm -hmm. like things in life because at the end of the day what really matters most you know is it is it your education is it your career you know is it all these things why are you doing all these things that's you know perspective is what really helps i feel like in life to get mm -hmm. through the difficult times is to realize what really matters. So just to kind of like step away from all the crap that you're dealing with and be like, okay, what is really important in this life? And, you know, we had a, a quote on two Sundays ago, you know, the things that matter most last the longest. And these relationships that we are creating, whether you are in your current family that, you know, you're raised in or a family that you will one day create on your own, like we've created, you know, we had a mixture of our two families, you know, mm -hmm. like your mom and dad and my mom, you know, that's where you're from. That's where you're raised. And then we came together and made our own family. So, you know, sex is all part of this, obviously, to make a family and relationship. That's all part of it. And I don't necessarily want to like have a, you know, a sex ed talk today. But I think we're just talking about the timing. Like, when should you? Right. And it's interesting because I was talking to my sister who had a friend. Um, and when they both graduated, her friend was like, you know, I think. I think that when I go to college, that's when I'll be ready. And because her friend hadn't been raised, like, oh, you wait till a certain time to have until you're married. Until you're married. And, and Callie was thinking how relieving it is to her to know that I don't have to worry about that because I already know I'm not even going to do it until I find the one that I make a strong enough relationship with. We decide to get married and then I will give that much to somebody. Right. But just trying to decide like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm with this, you know, think how, how young kids are having sex these days. It's just so not not a good idea. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Why, though? Because. It feels good. Well, yeah. 
Of course. I want to have we sex all know that. with a lot of different <laughs> girls a lot of different times. Because it's so much more than physical. Right. You it's sure? It's emotional. Well, but, for women it is. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I know that it's different. It's different for, for guys. But think about that, though. Like, I mean, after you do have that gratification of the body where it's like, it feels good. I don't have sex. Lots Stop. of different girls. Well, I'm just weird. saying that's what it's <laughs> like. I'm just being honest. Afterwards, you're left empty. Like, even if you did, even if you do satisfy that craving, that sexual craving, you're left empty afterwards. And and people know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't have to, like, come out and, like, say, like, you know, after you have those one-night stands, it doesn't feel fulfilling. You know what I mean? You don't feel like, oh, that, I mean, you feel empty inside because there's yeah. nothing attached to it. You know what I'm saying? That's what is so important is that you've taken that pyramid and you've flipped it like this and you've put what right. what should be on the very top, you know, should come very last, you've put it very first and all of a sudden there's no support there and your pyramid falls over is what I'm trying to say, people. You want your pyramid to Don't stand up. Don't flip your pyramid. Right? So in, in the grand scheme of things, um, the relationships are what matter most. And in order to have these long lasting, meaningful relationships that really get you through the tough times of life, mm -hmm. sex doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like the sex is sure. Sex is great. And you know, it's great to have great sex, but that doesn't matter at the end of the day. What really matters is those, you know, strong foundations of like trust and understanding. Right. And, you know, we agree on the same principles that we want to, pattern our lives after like those are the things that really matter and are going to make you feel fulfilled and happy and feelings of joy and those are the things that really really matter and that's what we're talking about like sure sex is great like there's a lot of hot chicks and a lot of hot dudes out there having sex and it's great but they're not feeling any joy or fulfillment from that just so you know like yeah go out and have a sex with a ton of chicks it's fun but like you're never going to feel happiness you're always going to be chasing that that next feeling that next craving and you're never going to have a fulfilling joyful life point blank you know what i mean mm -hmm. if you flip that pyramid upside down you're always going to be it's just going to tip over every single time you try to uh, you know find something attached to it so anyways <laughs> in the in the whole circle of it you know talking to this guy this weekend it was like I just felt so grateful that like I had you, you know what I mean? And it was just like, mm -hmm. we have this relationship and you know, re religion comes into it too, you know, especially for us because you know, the, the church we were raised and I think, you know, in finding this just person, the, you know, cause a lot of people are like, church, well, how do we just the, the moral principles of save yourself, you know, and it sounds so old fashioned now, but it's so true. Just try it. <laughs> and I remember getting made fun of in high school and stuff. Oh, you're such a prude. You're such a Molly Mormon or whatever. But I remember seeing heartache in so many of my friends who Regret. did just, you know, go for it and have fun and and just do whatever felt good at the time. And just the regret and the feelings of you can't get that back. Yeah. It's easy to act like a child. You know, children do what feels good, you know, and they don't ask questions. You know, adults, grown ups, you know, make choices on what's going to be better for you long term. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you can make those, you know, those quick, easy decisions of like, yeah, I'm just going to like do whatever. It's fun. You know, nobody's going to tell me what I can do with my body. I mean, sure, you can do whatever you want with your body. And but if you really want to understand how to have a fulfilling, strong foundation of a life, you need to realize that that sex is not is not going to give that to you you know these strong foundations of love and then once you have sex with that i mean it's like so much better you know what i mean tell yeah. them tell them how it's so it much is. better <laughs> <laughs> so i guess what i'm trying to say is like and then the question is like well how do you find that person like how do you find that person who's willing to like kind of commit because it does turn into a religious thing i think even, mm -hmm. even though i mean it doesn't necessarily have to or it shouldn't it, it, it kind of does like well why like well why didn't you do those things well talk about the pyramid <laughs> you know i mean it is the pyramid but i i honestly i would say probably because our church taught us not to you right know I mean? and because i saw like the fulfilling lasting relationships that like my parents had because making those decisions what I'm you trying know? to what I'm trying to say is like is you need to find you need to be able to find somebody that kind of has the same you know that foundation that the bottom rung of your pyramid you need to find somebody that has as many of those in line as you do you know what I mean as many of those kind of common beliefs principles you know it doesn't even have to be religion you can just take church out of it completely just good solid principles you know what I mean working hard 
you know, pays off. Like these things that you have as your base core belief and foundation of, you know, like trying to be nice to people and, and all that. You need to find somebody that, you know, can kind of align with all those first. That's the most important foundation level. And then you kind of start to build on it. Like, you know, what's your favorite music? And, you know, what do you like to eat? Like those things that don't really matter as much, you kind of go up. And then sure, the sex does matter. I mean, you could have, you could be really great friends with somebody and then the sex isn't good and then maybe it doesn't work out. But what I'm saying is like, you're going to go through a lot of heartache if you flip that pyramid upside down and try to go at it from that angle. You need to start down here and build up little by little. And then at the end, the sex comes and, and then... Then you get married, right? You start making the babies. You stop making the babies. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that was, you know, why it was, you know, because we had never met in our entire lives. And, you know, the first date we went on, we because we were from the same church, the same background, we already had, like, think of all the, the songs in our church. Mm-hmm. You know, like hundreds of songs memorized that, that we both knew and had never met each other. And, and I was 22 when I met you. You were 19, you were young. So Mm -hmm. we had never even met each other our entire lives and we could sit down and already be able to sing the same like hundred songs and tell the same hundred stories just because we kind of like came from the same background. So I think that Well, I think more importantly, like I knew that you, like you knew that I wasn't going to have sex with you on the first I tried though. You knew that. I, I tried, (laughs) I tried to make her let me. That's another thing. I think that this, the most important thing that we need to let out today is that women need to be extra strong because the guys, well, let's just face no, it. No, I mean, <laughs> dudes need to be strong too. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's so. Uh, stereotypes. There's so much to stereotypes talk about. Are there I don't for even know how to start. <laughs> it's, I don't know. I mean, the sex drive, I, I guess, is stronger in guys. I mean, because guys definitely seem more interested okay. in it. I think that girls get the misunderstanding that. He's not going to like me unless I make out with him or unless I give it up, you know? And that's not true. I mean, that's the first thing. It may be true, though. But you know what? You don't want that douchebag. Let right. him move on. You know what I mean? Like, if that's all he wants and he's only going to like me if I put out, well, so well, break up with him. There's plenty of dudes out there. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but don't be that guy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't pressure your girlfriend. I mean, it's just, I don't know. There's dudes out there. It's, uh, it's all they care about, you know? And I feel like it's just because they weren't, they don't, they're hurting themselves. Like they don't have that foundation. They don't have, they, they weren't taught that, you know what I mean? Growing up. So, so it's difficult for them, but it's, it's in everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's in us, whether you, whether you're raised that way or not, everybody, I feel like, you know, yearns for those strong relationships. That's what, you know what I'm saying? Why are we here on this earth? Like, what's the point why are we here to get a good job so we can make money? Is that really why you're here on earth? So you can go to school and get a good at, so you can go get a piece of paper that says you can go get a job somewhere. Is that why you're here on this earth? No. Like, why are we here? What is the purpose? Like, let's try to figure that out. Like whatever it is, who cares the reason once we figure it out, like, and I think it's because of families of relationships. That's what matters is these, these, people that you deal with every day, whether it be your mom and dad or the the family you're raised in or the family that you're going to create someday. That's what really matters. What matters the most lasts the longest. And these relationships in families is, I feel, why we're here on this big blue and green rock. And so if if you don't don't build that foundation first, then your pyramid's going to fall down. Don't you get it? (laughs) <laughs> so we're talking about families pyramids and sex today <laughs> Does that cover it i think i about covers <laughs> i think that we just tried to cram in yeah like, like a whole life's lesson so you got it okay <laughs> like go out there minutes. and live life now <laughs> that's that's an testament to how we just definitely do not plan these out we was like you know what we should talk about well today? sometimes we do sometimes it goes very differently than how we do plan and it then out. i hate it because then later i'm like oh i should have said this but that's why we can do lots of these because this is podcast 42. How yes. Ma- how many of these are we going to do, babe? Well, I think maybe we'll do another one and we won't <laughs> talk about. <laughs> so that yeah. actually might be a good, uh, you know, we've spat out a lot of crap here and maybe you guys could leave some comments below and we could do like a follow up podcast and then we could have it a little bit more structured and we could be like, OK, and we could like take certain questions. Mm-hmm. But I just I mean, that's how I do it. Instead of like, you know, planning out like, let's just talk about sex. and Let's just go out and talk about it so let's just talk about if it. you guys have questions I think more importantly than than 
the S word that you keep using over and over again. Sorry, kids. I don't know who's listening to this, and I hope your parents it's don't just hate. a word, bro. <laughs> I know. But you're talking more about how you build a lasting relationship, and it doesn't start with sex, which most movies these days portray that. Right. And, and I know? always hate that. It's like you go see a movie, and we're the same way. Like every movie we go see, and it's like the romantic couple, and they start making out. It's like, come on, don't sleep together. Don't sleep don't together. Don't do it yet. And like we're no. always so excited when they just kiss. Like, And it's like, oh, sweet. She's not a slut. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That was rude. Oh, wait, Denise, wait, maybe we should edit that part. <laughs> uh, anyways, so, yeah, what were you saying? Um, about now the- I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's about creating lasting relationships. And I think it's difficult for young people. You know, I want to talk to the young people. I think it's difficult sometimes to understand that because you don't know because you don't you haven't been there yet. You haven't built the lasting relationship, but that's how you do it. I promise. And, and, and I th- save yourself. Just be be a prude and be the one that's not like everybody else. And just say, you know what? I don't want to. And that's okay. It doesn't make you like not cool yeah, it's or okay. not like, mature. I feel like a lot haven't... of people are like, a lot of kids especially are f- rushed into it just because yeah. of peer pressure. It's like, you know, they don't even want to necessarily. A lot of kids are not even, don't even want to try some of these things, but they just feel like they have to to fit in, which sucks, man. Like, why do we as people feel like we have to like fit in and like why does everybody want to like feel like they don't stick out? You know what I mean? Like don't worry about that so much. Don't worry about, you know, fitting in and like having everybody like you because trust me, once you get out of high school, it's not going to matter. It won't yeah. matter. Like just be your own person and and not care. Don't care what anybody else thinks. I know that's a cliche and you hear it all the time, but you got to be able to do that. Like don't give a sugar what anybody else thinks. Like, just now worry about you. Now we're using the other S word. I'm pissed <laughs> off! I mean, like, don't worry about trying to fit in or, like, if people are going to like you because you think a certain way. Who cares? Like, just, you know, decide how you want to be and, and that's all that matters. Once you, if you just have that desire just to find out whatever the truth is, whatever's real, whatever really matters and nothing else is going to, like, get in your way, that's when you're really going to, like, be going towards something in life where it's like, I don't care what all these people say. Like, I realize they're saying a lot of things. Like, there's a lot of stuff coming at you from a lot of different angles. Mm -hmm. And you got to take it all in because it is coming at you. So you got to be able to, like, uh, you know, digest it. Like, say, okay, this person is telling me this. How do I feel about that? How does that feel? Does that feel right to me? I don't think it does. And sometimes that might be hard because you might look up to that person. You might be like, man, that person's cool. Like, a lot of people like that person. I want to be like that person. Like, some of these, you know, singers and, you know, rappers today where it's like, you know, you want to be like that where it's like, you don't need you don't need to worry about like what other people are. I'm I'm, I'm stuttering now. Aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I think, don't don't stress out about it so much is, is what I'm saying. Like in school, I wish I could go into school into some of these schools and just like see some of these kids. Like the bullying. It's so easy to say it now, like, it but is, I remember being there. there just feeling really insecure and not knowing, you know, what if I don't do that? Then they're not going to like me, and then I'm not going to be cool. And, but it really is if you can just stand out above the crowd nine times out of ten people are going to look up to you for being the one to be able to stand up and say you know what that's not cool because most kids are like that they're all looking around at each other thinking are they going to do it are they going to do it okay i guess i'll do it if if everybody else does and everybody's thinking that but nobody stands up and says you know what no i don't want to but if you do Nine times out of ten. Yeah. People will want to follow you and they'll appreciate your strength. And it's hard to do that. It's so easy to say, like, just be the strong one, you know, Mm -hmm. but it's tough. It's really tough in those situations when you're at school or you're in a group of friends to be the one that says, like, you know, no, I'm not going to do that or whatever it is, you know. And that I mean, that goes for having sex at a young age, drinking, um, bullying, like all of those things. If you're the one to stand up and say, you know what, that's not cool. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Think of be be be, and that's why I always get. Don't be afraid to stand alone, right. even if people don't follow you. Right. Even if people don't look up to you for that, even if they look at you and go, "Really," you know, just don't be afraid to stand alone because you're gonna feel so much better as you get older and be like, you know what? I remember that time. I'm so glad I didn't do that. Right. You right. know. Because trust me, guys, like you're gonna get out of school one day and you're just gonna like be in real life and, and you realize there's not like I guess there are kind of clicks, but I don't know. But like, the choices you make now are going to drastically affect how you feel as a person later and your character and what 
you become. And if you stay true to yourself and true to what you really feel is right, you're going to feel like you've wrote, risen above all of that. And it'll be so much better. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't want to be all preachy, preachy to you. I know. You. You know we really, we just laid it all out we, there today. We did a lot of stupid stuff too when we were kids, trust <laughs> me. You know, but it's just all about like figuring it out. You know, it's okay. You're doing okay. But think about these things. You know what I mean? Be willing to sit down and be honest with yourself. You know, be your own devil's advocate. Be able mm-hmm. to tell yourself that what you're doing is wrong. Be able to say like self, because that's what I call me when I'm talking to myself. Self. self. I say self, come on, be honest with yourself. Is that really the right thing? Like, you know, it's probably not. You know what I'm saying? Like, have those conversations. Be willing to sit down and kind of like see how you're doing in life. You know, like Mm -hmm. where, you know, line yourself up. Start building that foundation. Like, where do you exist in this world? And who are you? Start thinking about those things. And and make a commitment to make a change, even if it's difficult, because, you know, we all can. But that's the that's the thing is like you just have to be constantly trying to better yourself, you know, trying to work on things. Or else where are you going? You know what I mean? What is your purpose? You know, mm-hmm. so that's all we're trying to say is. We love you guys. We mess up and, you know. We just feel like your parents all of a sudden. Oh, are we, we love you. Yeah. Please just listen because you will not regret it. Anyways, that's that's been another full on podcast from Is that? How, from are we wrapped? Are we wrapped? Um, I don't know. I feel like, is, are we cool? Are we cool? <laughs> I know. She's like, wait, I'm what like, did I say? Let I me know. rewind. We have to talk to edit Denise, <laughs> Denise and editing. Denise, just let it all play. I don't care. I know. I'm willing That's to stand up for what I believe. We just laid all out there. And maybe if you cut have out any the questions, if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. We'll maybe do a second part. No, with... let's do for sure. Let's say that. Well, yeah. So let's say, uh, next Monday. We will do yes. a follow up. So next Wednesday, so it will be it will go up next Wednesday, a week from today. Yeah. So uh, yeah, today's you were watching today's episode. Congratulations! Thanks for watching it. Be sure to thumbs it up and favorite it if you would. <laughs> Share it with your friends, and uh, we'll do another one next Wednesday. So leave comments below. We will really read these. Allie, hold me to that. Is she here? No. She left. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll get her to tell me to do it. Um, and we'll do a follow up to this, and we'll ask. Uh, we'll just do totally questions. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. We'll select your guys' questions from Twitter or in the comments below or on our Facebook, When the Kids Go to Sleep. We have our own Facebook. We'll leave a link to that. And we'll just do the whole uh, 45 minutes answering your questions. And we'll try to get in as many as we can. Yes. And be honest. Be, we'll be honest. honest. We'll, be, we'll be open with you guys. I mean, we're not going to like like share pictures or anything. What? <laughs> Dang it. I almost got out of it without being <laughs> weird. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. This not is a chance. podcast number 42. 42. Um, 42 is going to go down in the books. 42. It's going down in history. Remember 42? 42 was a good one. <laughs> you could, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, ask us your questions. 44 will be the, the, the second edition. Bye. Yes. See you later. That went pretty good. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a doozy. <laughs>